become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here wow just look at this photo of melvin wells a truly muscular phenomenon from the silver era Melvin Wells was a true genetic freak known for his incredibly huge biceps, thick back and cannonball delts. God only knows why he never won a Mr. America back then. Now why am I talking about Melvin Wells? Well, today we're going to be looking at some exercises that Melvin Wells used to develop those amazing cannonball delts. In fact, today we're going to look at some forgotten silver era exercises for developing the deltoids. In an article written by Charles A. Smith, we learn of Melvin Wells' favorite exercises for building the shoulders as well as the triceps, as well as many other exercises used by the silver era legends. And finally, we also learn from Charles that he details the various ways silver era bodybuilders used the bench, that's right, the humble bench, to isolate the deltoid muscle with little cooperation of other muscle groups. These exercises listed today will help build size, strength, and shape in the deltoid region. Enjoy. First up, we have Melvin Wells' favorite deltoid exercise for building size in both the deltoids and triceps. That is the two hands rebound dumbbell press on the bench. You wanna warm up first because for this particular exercise, you're gonna be handling heavy poundage. Grab a pair of dumbbells or get a partner to hand them to you. That would be even better. Sit straight on the bench with your legs wide apart to just brace yourselves. And uh, you want to press those dumbbells to arm's length. And as you bring them down, as you lower them, you want to get a rebound at the bottom position. You don't want to pause. You literally want to press the dumbbell straight to arm's length again without pause. And you want to repeat this and do the uh, exercise for three sets of eight repetitions, working up to 12 repetitions. Again, this was Melvin Wells' favorite deltoid exercise. A relatively unknown exercise seldom used today is the lying side raise, as used by Larry Scott and the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. To perform it, you want to lie on your side on a bench. Hold a dumbbell with your arm extended, over your thighs with the knuckles facing up as shown in the figure here. You use your other arm to balance and you raise the other arm that's holding the, the dumbbell that is to vertical. And as you do, you wanna keep your arms straight at all times and then you lower. Don't bend the arm, remember to keep the arm straight and don't let the arm drop onto your thighs either. You can see that the actual um, picture here is circling that particular point. You don't wanna drop the arm with the dumbbell that is onto your thighs. You want to keep it above the thighs and keep the tension on the shoulders. Very, very important. You want to choose a weight that you can handle for three sets of 10 repetitions and work up to 15 repetitions. This was a favorite exercise of the great Sigmund Klein. Here is another exercise seldom used nowadays, the lying anterior delt barbell raise. You grab a barbell and lie on the bench face up with the barbell resting on your thighs as shown in the picture here. You grip the bar shoulder width apart with the knuckles facing up and you raise the bar until it is directly overhead at arm's length, keeping the arm straight, of course. Don't arch the back and again, remember to keep the arm straight. It's very tempting to bend them. Lower and repeat. Don't lower again, it's circled here. Don't lower the barbell all the way down to your thighs. Keep the barbell above your thighs to keep the tension on the shoulders and use a weight you can handle for two sets of eight repetitions, working up to 12 repetitions before increasing the weight on this exercise. Now here is a very unique shoulder press known as the eel lying shoulder press created by Vince Eel, which he used as a shoulder bulking exercise. You lie on a bench, with the barbell held across the chest as shown in the diagram here, grasping it with a hand spacing of an inch wider than your shoulder width. You press the barbell overhead to arm's length behind you, that's right, holding the barbell there for a count of two seconds. The arms and the body should form a straight line. I have never seen this exercise before, but I reckon it's gonna burn the shoulders like mad. After that, of course, you return the barbell to the chest and repeat. It's like basically doing an overhead press while lying on a bench. You use a, a very light weight to begin with because of the leverage. And um, you do two sets of it of 10 repetitions and work up with this weight to 15 reps before moving up 
with the poundage. Another unique exercise, the lying anterior delt dumbbell raise has you lying face down on a bench, grabbing two dumbbells in a pronated grip as shown in the diagram. Your face should be over one end of the bench. Raise the dumbbells forward and up, holding for a count of three seconds, lower and repeat. Charles actually recommends to don't swing the dumbbells, control the movement, very, very important. You use a weight you can handle for two sets of eight repetitions and working up to 12 repetitions before increasing the poundage. Here is a different angle for the rear delt raise. In the lying rear deltoid raise, you lie face down, of course, on a bench grabbing two dumbbells in a pronated grip with the arms at the side, of course. Your face should be um, over one end and you raise the dumbbells up and to the side, holding for a count of two seconds, then you lower and repeat. Again, Charles recommends to not swing the dumbbells but control the movement and to use a poundage you can handle for eight repetitions over two sets and work up to 12 repetitions. Finally, the last exercise described in this article is the seated anterior deltoid barbell raise, where you grab a barbell in a clean position with your hands spacing at shoulder widths. You sit on a bench with, and press the barbell overhead with both hands, and whilst keeping your arms straight, you lower down and forward to shoulder level as shown in the diagram. You hold for a count of two and then raise the barbell overhead and repeat for two sets of 10 repetitions, working up to 15 repetitions. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the silver and golden era methods for developing the deltoid, please visit my website, www.goldenerabookum.com for titles such as Larry Scott's Rare Bodybuilding Reports, featuring Larry Scott's reports on how to build massive deltoids, as well as titles from Steve Reeves, such as Developing Broad Shoulders, both available on my website, www.goldenerabookum.com. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learning a little bit about the likes of Melvin Wells and other silver era bodybuilding legends and how they developed their deltoid muscles. I'm always impressed at Melvin Wells' physique. I mean, I believe he was natural and truly, truly a fantastic genetic, phen phenomenal, phenomenal uh, example of genetics. I mean, this guy, just imagine this guy today. I mean, with those genetics, it's just incredible. Uh, the guy, I don't know how he never won a universe or an America. I, I don't think the universe was around back then, but at least... I don't know how he didn't won an AAU Mr. America. I mean, I know how. Back then, it was rather, rather racist uh, time, and um, that's probably why he didn't win. But just look at his physique. I mean, just look at the photos that still exist of Melvin Wells. It's absolutely incredible. This is just prime, prime genetics. The, the man is an absolute <laughs> genetic phenomenon. So, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era book and leave me your comments. Thank you for watching and please share. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal, become a patron, visit my website for how to print books and courses, and please get in touch to collaborate or pass on your bodybuilding relics and magazines, books, etc. I will now leave you with a fantastic video that Daniel Figueroa shared previously featuring Melvin Wells' incredible muscularity, especially his deltoids. You can really see the incredible muscularity from behind of Melvin Wells, his back and his shoulders were just phenomenal. Here it is for your enjoyment. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.
full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code bookworm12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.